Henry. Arsenal and Tottenham, 13th minute French international Thierry Henry with the run, turns Steve Carr inside out. 1-0, Henry curls it around American international keeper Casey Keller. That's his seventh, and it looked good. So Van Wooltor to Henry, who stopped and then finds Freddy Junberg to make it 2-0 for Arsenal. 71st minute, Robert Pires rolls it into the area. Henri is stopped. Pires back to Will Tord, top corner for his eighth. Arsenal are tops in the Prem, 3-0 versus Tottenham. Claudio Ranetti of Chelsea in the foreground. Steve McLaren of Middlesbrough in the background. First half, Graham Lasso for Chelsea down the left flank. The cross for Gianfranco Zola. He stopped by Mark Swarzer. Zola leads the Prem with nine goals, but he couldn't add it to his total there. Chelsea take the lead, but it wasn't Zola in the second half. Celestine Babayaro cuts inside on Jeremy, then cracks this over the shoulder of Swarzer. Chelsea have won five of their last six, this time 1-0 versus Middlesbrough. Man City taking on Charlton, second half, scoreless. Man City's Kevin Haller rips a left-footed shot that just sails over top of the bar. At the other end, Jonathan Johansson turns away from C.G. High, and his shot goes just wide. We'll get more from Johansson as he will set things up. In the box area, he will find Jason Ewell, who misses the tap-in, but there's Sean Bartlett. Scores second of the season, 1-0. Charlton goes on to win. Newcastle and Southampton, 66 seconds in. Brett Omerard starts things off. James Beatty will finish things off. Six goals in his last six games for Beatty, and it's 1-0. Kieran Dyer will... Uh, Mesmerize Wayne Bridge. Look at the moves here, and he will find Shola Amiobi, the easiest of his three goals in the season to tie it up at one goal apiece. Sir Bobby Robson's side capped off a superb week. Nine minutes from the restart when Aaron Hughes seals a 2-1 win with this shot plus anti -Nian. Best chance early, it's Jason Roberts being denied by Peter Enkelman. These two would meet up a little bit later, minutes later for that matter. Roberts with some brilliant moves inside the box, but once again, he is denied by Enkelman on the short side. 73rd minute, Gareth Barry is brought down by Darren Moore. Ref Dermot Gallagher points to the spot. Dion Dublin's effort from 12 yards out is stopped. Nil-nil was the final. The U.S. keeper grateful not to be too extended by Canadian Thomas Rodzinski. 19 minutes gone. The combination of Campbell and Carsley. Rovers caught out. 1-0 to Everton thanks to Campbell's sixth league goal of the season. A great example of control and finish. David Moyes won't have cash to spend when the transfer window reopens, but his current squad is surpassing expectations. Getting past Friedel, now that's another matter. Four home league defeats already. Sam Allardyce honestly believing that his Bolton side were overdue a change of fortune. Commentary from Jerry Harrison. Well, that's a thundering tackle on Nolan by Burns. Play on, says uh, referee Alan Wiley. Bolton in possession, up to Jorkayev. In for Pedersen here. Oh, great shot. 1-0 to Bolton, only two minutes gone. Leads on the back foot immediately, as they were in Florence in midweek. Good refereeing, though, and great passing. Franklin up to Jorkayev. Very confident first-time strike by Pedersen for his first goal of the season. Bad news for Leeds. Here's McClell. Oh, good ball. Picks out Harry Kiel down the flank. A lot of space. And a pull back to Smith. 1-1. Alan Smith is at it again. Four in midweek in the UEFA Cup. Putting Leeds back on course here. A very, very swift reply. Less than a minute of real play after the injury treatment for Nolan. Alan Smith, Leeds United, favourite son, waxing the equaliser. Great pullback by Kuehl, too strong for Jaskolainen. Well, it could have been worse for Sam Allardyce's team, but to level at the moment, they've lost the last four away games, so anything here will be welcome. This is Kelly on the rampage. Up for Kuhl, that's a good leap now. Viduka, oh, that's an excellent block by Ngotti. That's only safe, Bolton. Makeshift team here for Leeds United, but it's beginning to flow. McPhail and Bambi, Kelly, in goes Viduka, and just wide, 
so close to the breakthrough. Bolton substitution and Gotti off and Stig Tofting on. The first time we've seen the Dane in action since his conviction for assault. Certainly looks ready for the battle here. And they'll need to keep it tight. Leeds have had the best chances. Four goals in their last two games, away from home certainly, on the attack for most of the second half. Picked up here by Alan Smith. Oh, that's good control. Good trickery. And the shot. Just over. Alan Smith, certainly the man of the moment. Campo came to him but couldn't get anywhere near him. Great skill in the papers this weekend in England. They're talking about Manchester United making a bid for him. You can see why. Well, Terry Venables has suffered some frustrations in his time at Ellen Road and he's enduring a few more here. Smith again. Oh, and he's giving it away to Gioca, of all people. Gets away from the Australian forward here to Pedersen. Woodgate trying to hold him out. Oh, hits the post and straight into the arms of Robinson. A let off the leads. And not for the first time, the precision and pace of Djokaev's passes have cut Leeds open and Bolton were desperately unlucky. Well, Leeds are all over the place at the moment. This is when they need someone like Lee Bowyer to pull them together, but he's injured too. Here's Okacha, Djokaev, Pedersen. Neat stuff and Djokaev's in and Bolton have scored again. They're back in front. Well, you've got to admire Bolton's intricate play there, but you've got to question Leeds' discipline in their own penalty area. Too much room, and they've paid for it. 2-1 to Bolton, little more than 10 minutes to go. Nice touches, though, and a lovely finish by the World Cup Fred player. Well, Bolton didn't get too far with that one. Straight to Alan Smith here. Good control. Lovely touch from Viduka. In for Harry Kuehl! Oh, great strike. Another immediate reply from Leeds United, it's 2-2. Once again, Alan Smith in the thick of things. Nice control, good passing, and a great finish. That was a confident bit of play by Leeds. Looked just like the old days. 2-2, both sides going for it in the closing moments. Here's Okacha. Wide for the substitute, Michael Ricketts. It's a good turn to Djokaev. Clean hit, but a clean save too. But Bolton have definitely got the taste here. Not too sure whether Leeds are tiring or not concentrating. But another slick Bolton move. Almost worked. Tofting. All through for Ricketts. Another great ball. And he's quick. Out comes Robinson. It's a penalty. Alan Wiley had really no choice there. Everything happened so fast. Robinson's timing, not quite right at all. So two minutes to go, Michael Ricketts can put Bolton into the lead for the third time. And he does, very confident. 3-2 to Bolton. Last away win was at Old Trafford. This looks like the winner at Ellen Road. Or the loser. Is Campo is pushed up. Tofting free on the right hand side, leads all over the place. Here's Pedersen. Great volley. And that's good night, Leeds United. What an incredible finish to this match. Four goals in the last 10 minutes and a spectacular strike to end it all. Henrik Pedersen started it all off in the first minute. Now he's completed it in injury time. it's all over. Leeds United's fourth consecutive home defeat after a couple of good results. A win for Bolton after four away defeats on the run. More pressure on West Ham in this match. 19th minute. The cross. Joe Cole, the header off the post. The rebound Jermaine Defoe, but Defoe ruled offside. Oh, Cole came so close with the powerful header. Fabian Barthez was beaten.
Glenn Roeder hasn't had much to cheer about so far this year as coach of West Ham. And in the 38 minutes, it got worse. Quinton Fortin to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to Ruud Van Nistelrooy, 1-0. The goal beating David James. Ian Pierce couldn't intercept. Van Nistelrooy with his fifth goal of the year. And if you're a coach, what do you think of that? If you're a coach, what do you think of this? Just before the half, David James pressured by Solskjaer. The ball hits John O'Shea. Solskjaer, open net, misses. James not happy, and England coach Sven Joran Eriksson, who was in the stands, he didn't look all that impressed either. 86th minute, West Ham, Michael Carrick followed De Canio to Jermaine Defoe, scores to level the match. United defenders protesting the offside. What do you think of this one? There's Defoe. Oh, that was so close. Defoe with a nice finish, though. West Ham took this scoreline to the whistle. 1-1 the final at Upton Park.